Hi guys, I'm Marticor, and when I look at Ilya, I'm now thinking that maybe she should have eyebrows if she has hair, right? Anyway, we're playing the two Nykman families, and this is the last episode of the round, round 13. And normally, after a round is finished, I upload more of a variety video the next week, but we had a video like that last week because I was sick and unable to record a whole gameplay. So I guess we will just start off with the new round next week. I think overall I will play Plant Alade's up until the end of round 15, maybe 16, we'll see. So we're slowly finishing up here. I was thinking about Ilya, uh, that she isn't really a typical plant sim. Uh, she feels more like a hybrid of, of sorts, you know? I think I have blue eyebrows, uh, but maybe I didn't give her eyebrows because I actually didn't have blue ones, or like more like mint ones, I guess. It's not exactly blue. I have green. Oh, I have like... Cornflower blue, which is not good. Oh, yeah, I actually don't have this mint kind of color of eyebrows. So I guess I was trying to give her eyebrows, but it just... Yeah, this doesn't look right. No, she she will not have eyebrows. <laughs> that was a good choice. Um, Yeah, I was thinking about her reproductive abilities uh, because... I guess my headcanon is that, that she can just reproduce the default way that plant sims do in The Sims 2, so both ways, either grow plant baby or sexually, you know? But since she is with a 100% plant sim, I guess she will go for the traditional way of the Nykman family, just growing plant babies at the same time, so they're kind of like twins. If she was with someone else, someone who is not a plant sim, I guess I would allow her to just try for baby and be pregnant and stuff. We don't really know what Ilya is exactly and how she became, uh, like, not really fully a plant sim, but just like, kind of like a plant sim. <laughs> okay, I don't have Ilya's birth last name in the family tree, but um, but I tagged her as plant sim slash Naike, so I assume that she is somehow from, from planet Naike, but she is just mixed race somehow. <laughs> Unknown background. Also, Seleni is super unhappy. He is a black sheep. He, he wants to catch... 200 fish? What do you need the fish for? No, he needs to change your lifetime wand. Yeah, one little fear and and he breaks down. It's, uh, he has a lot of big wands, but the only one, well, okay, be saved from death can always be done. And he's desperate, so I guess uh, this could work too, especially that they have a cow plant. Like, that's super easy. Although, can you be saved from death? I don't think... No, there's no Grim Reaper when you... Oh my god, okay. <laughs> Good, I, I realize this. Uh, Ilya is going to work um, because it would be such a failure. He would have to be saved a different way. And how can plant sims die? You know, because the always the easiest way is to just drag the hunger bar all the way down and, and they die. It's like, that's the fastest, right? Um, I guess there could be a fire somehow, but they don't cook. They don't even have a stove. Um, so yeah, it's actually really hard now that I think about it. They can't die of the sunlight or water um, motive being low. So I guess it would have to be sickness or something. I'm not even sure if plant sims are really, really that easy to die of sickness because they, well, they kind of have the comfort bar some hidden somewhere, but they they seem more immune to um, like sickness really going really bad, right? How do I kill a plant sim? <laughs> no, um, I don't think... Okay, Pilakuri just like appeared out of nowhere. Okay. He wants a cat, but uh, they will only get a cat when Ula breeds the cats that he has, and this will not happen this round. Definitely not. I think I will just try to befriend Tai, because it's a pretty big want. Oh, yeah. Um, Seleni changed his wants, and this is something that I cannot do for him. So, um, let's just call Tai. 
he doesn't work anywhere, right? We can call him anytime. Oh my god. Whenever he wants to grow plant, baby, I will do it for him. Even if it feels too early for that. Because I just feel so sorry for him. Yeah, any type of death that depends on the need decay. So being struck by lightning, electrocution, being scared by a ghost is probably impossible for plantsums because they have different needs. They don't really have that much of a need decay when these things happen. Um, you don't like Ty. <laughs> Enemies to lovers. Yeah, he didn't really talk to him that much because he had to cough and uh, he wasn't really that low on love. Wait, does anyone else know Ty and like him enough to invite him so that we can have a longer talk with him? Not really. But I don't want to cheat. I don't want to just spawn Ty here. So let's get some sunlight on the hammock. Let's just get some rest after work. We'll figure this out. Oh, draftsman. Okay. Yeah, she has a lot of skills. But I think one more promotion and she's done. So she will be um, the, the, the next architect, I guess. Or like a co-architect with Bo. So I need to take that into account as well uh, when I'm thinking about the architecture. Okay, tomorrow we're definitely opening the store. And Addis has the day off as the only one. Yeah, there's like a strict schedule here. Uh, because whenever they have days off uh, work, they will just open the store. And it's like four days a week at this point. Yeah, it was perfect when Prim was still here because it was like six days in a row. But well, now we have to adjust. Addis has a bronze badge in cash registry, so... Shouldn't be that bad. And Ilya and Seleni will work together because they have the same days off. Um, so they will have time to practice. And uh, if, if it's two of them instead of one, it will be easier. There's a pretty big line here anyway, because people are just crazy about our stuff. Faster, please. I need to have these perfect tomatoes in my house right now. Oh, yeah. And that was Ty, of all people. Ty that we're trying to be friends with. He just left. You need two cash registries, what is this? You're taking his time. From other customers, Elaganda. Okay, let's just close this. That's enough. Addis is exhausted. Gandol, yeah. Seleni brought Quay from work. But I don't see him here. Couldn't he take his son with him? Well, apparently he didn't even come himself, so, um, whatever. I think today we can have the party that Ilya wants. She doesn't really know a lot of people, but I can always spawn other people that other household members know or just invite them by phone separately. Oh, Ty will come. That's nice. Hey, we have some leftover beer. Want some? Hey, Ty. Finally. Let's just hang out. If they become friends tonight, it will boost party score, so... Oh, Hanmoka and Bo are both here. The recently divorced couple. Great party. Maybe let's put some music on. Not bad. And they didn't become friends just yet, but they are really close. One phone call away. Oh, hey, Trua. Yeah, I know you don't know Ilya. You don't know any of these people really okay this is the last day of the round for them and today seleni and Ilya will work on the store together oh, okay seleni wants a child does a plant baby count okay it's the end of the round now so maybe i will lock this in for him and we will do it at the very beginning of the next round he is still pretty young considering that in my lifespan Plant baby is 10 days. He will still be very young when um, his child becomes an adult, but that's fine. Whatever I can do to make him happier. So call Ty. Maybe you'll be friends with him by then. Okay, and he is a lot happier actually. Make juice. That's easy. You can make a lot. Beauty cocktail? There we go. Beautiful, beautiful beauty cocktail. Wow, hearts and flowers. 
Let's switch up the cash registry because Ilya wanted some sunlight and she wanted to harvest good products. Does this count? Okay. Yeah, I know. He will learn one day. Hey, I preferred the, when the lady was at the cash registry. <laughs> no one of Nike people is actually either a lady or a dude. I, I use pronouns according to what their gender is in game, but actually they don't really have gender. Ilya, what? You're seven points nice. Stop it. That's your father-in-law. She really doesn't like him. Oh, wow. Oh, this is something that I can do for you, Aris. Because he's crying of unhappiness. Now I have to take care of him. Now that Seleni is settled. But you know what? This is a nighttime activity because uh, it's inside. So maybe just relax on the hammock a little bit to get some sunlight. Let's close it for today. If Ilya is supposed to have the planned baby at the same time as Seleni, she will be even younger when the baby becomes an adult. She is super young. <laughs> She's 10 days younger than him. Did I adjust her age? I guess I just went with whatever she had, right? That's fine, I guess. So maybe we'll actually make an exception and she will have the planned baby later. And there will be just a few days of difference between them. They will be toddlers together at some point. It won't be a 10 day difference exactly, but maybe like seven or six at least. Okay, Aris is going to work. So Seleni and Ilya will just be left to take care of the store again, but that's for the next round. So let's go and find out what the hell is going on with Ula. I changed Ula's house a little bit. Uh, I made it orange outside because this family has a lot of orange green motives. Um, it didn't make sense for it to just be white like Unifu's house was. It's the same house, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I think it needed to be personalized a little bit more. Okay, so what is Ula doing? He doesn't really have that much of a relationship with Blob Blob, but yeah, this happened. It's ACR, obviously, but what the hell? <laughs> and it didn't count as cheating? Wait a second. You don't consider it cheating? You don't have a memory of cheating on your wife? That's your wife. Wow, Ula. Just wow. Okay, I can make you friends with Ilya. Just don't make out with her, okay? Cushion wants a more expensive bed. I think we can, we can do that at some point. She is now in architecture, doesn't really make a lot of money. He is unemployed because he is taking care of the animals. I think I had an idea for a job for him, but I can't remember. Um, they might have some money problems. They just paid bills because it's Wednesday. You paid, right? Yeah. Um, so that's good. Oh, okay. His, uh, income comes from the plants here because he technically sells them to the Nikemans or something. Like, he has some kind of percentage in the family business, right? And he provides more products technically. Like, that's my my idea for um, for Ula's job. Kushan has the day off today. The kid will be becoming a kid um, this round. Did you learn to walk? Not yet. Um, bad memories. Um, okay. We're trying to breed the cats. We're taking care of all the toddler skills of the plants here to get some money and uh that's it pretty much and maybe the thing with blah blah was just a one-time thing maybe he he just i don't know he's like yeah that that didn't mean anything that's that was not cheating <laughs> i was just trying something out <laughs> jesus it's still cheating maybe it won't happen again and he can just keep it a secret there's too much drama happening in this round. I, I can't have any more. Okay, can we get smart milk for the child and teach him to walk? Oh, right. You have this because you were in the criminal career? Yeah, that comes from the criminal career. I got this for her? I have no memory of that. And she just keeps it in her inventory. Sure. Um, She could use it on Ula. <laughs> and it would be like, have you ever cheated on me? And he's like, no. And then she asks, have you ever had any romantic interactions with anyone else since we were married? And he will be like, yes. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Actually, let's 
put it somewhere outside. It, it won't really fit inside, so... Oh yeah, smart milk. That's what I was going for. Does Ula have any? No. Plants don't need smart milk, okay. <laughs> she has a lot more points than he does. That's so weird. She was a townie for the longest time, okay. Do we have a potty chair? I think in the bathroom, oh yeah. And he's taught to potty, okay. Practice lying, ask Ula for lessons. <laughs> yeah, he is good at it. Since Kushin will teach Oren shoe skills, I think Ula should take care of the talking. Yay! I think they also made some roof improvements with the cacti. Uh, yeah, and the roof is not white anymore. It's more like soil. Um, hey, Vio, why are you contemplating our bed? Hmm. Hmm, she wants a more expensive bed. Yeah, I can kind of understand that. This one is awful. He was actually looking at the picture, I think. Vio is Kushin's best friend right after Ula, I think. She has a lot of friends, actually. Yeah, she's been here a while. She has a thing with Aleph, who is like the worst person in this world. The world of Plant Alades. Um, but then also she is super best friends with Vi and Jexis and Soon. A little less with Saibes, Gandolia and Gore, but still a really good relationship. And then there's also Vrukork and La and Pilakuri, even though the relationship score isn't really that good anymore. She is still considered best friends with her. I don't even know how that happened. They never lived together. She was just a neighbor at the apartment building. And she also has a decent relationship with Ilya, La Pelizzi, the atrociously evil witch. I guess she likes evil people. She has evil connections because she's, she used to be a criminal. And Felis Hisker, who is also not a very nice person. Uh, oh, and the landlord. She will get along with anyone. She's quite nice. Okay, Koshin, you're going to work in like 35 minutes. Can you get a juice? At least Ula is always home to take care of the child. Okay, I think this is the perfect time to teach Oren to talk. He is still far away from his birthday, but he's in a good mood. Ula has nothing to do, so let's go. And we're done. Okay, now he has a lot of things to do. Kushin came back from the construction site and she just needs to sit. Just a simple sit. I totally get that. And now she's ready to put toys away. <laughs> to clean up. And say hi to her son. Chastise? What does this do? What does this mean? <laughs> does this word have something to do with chastity? Kinda, it's like punishing. It's like scolding, I guess. Did he do something? Is it the same interaction that they... The same, the, the same animation that they do when the baby poops itself and and they kind of like lecture the baby on pooping <laughs> or they lecture other sims for breaking stuff is th is this the thing you know what I, I need to check this i need to see this yeah that's the same thing and he just froze <laughs> he's just a kid yeah he doesn't care um and they became best friends and stopped being best friends at the same time? <laughs> that is that, yeah, that's exactly what it says in the memories. That's so stupid. Anyway, you were supposed to give him a family kiss. <laughs> okay, can you become best friends now? Say you're sorry for getting upset over nothing. You were just stressed from all that bricklaying. You're just too tired. We're building a university, so she has a lot to do. Perfectly understandable. Take a bath. Be friends with Vio? Sure. Kushan already is. Oh right, there's plenty of leftovers here, I kind of forgot. Kushan and later also Oren have a lifetime of leftovers here. Maybe not a lifetime, but long. I think Vio is eligible to accept an invitation. I don't really have anything better to do, yeah. That works. Hi there. It's always good to be friends with another plant, Sam. And Ula is sick again. <laughs> he just got better yesterday. Vio is just 
infecting everyone. It's Vio that spreads the disease most of the time. Oh. Right. <laughs> I, I looked at his energy and I was like, he's not really that sleepy yet. More like anymore. Talk to him about how uh, this is not his bed. <laughs> the cats still refuse to interact with each other. Their relationship doesn't change at all. Oh, okay. Oh, maybe we can get that bed. Oh, no, we can't. Well, that's a pretty expensive bed she wants. Wait, if I sell this, you will have just enough. And the bills are still a while away, so I guess we can actually make this work. This is a 2500 bed, uh, but I don't have any recolors for the frame. No, I don't have any white. I have white of this, so I think I'll go with this one. Two plant sims are talking about woohoo, and one of them is like, no, no, I don't do that. You can go to prison for that. And Ula is like, no, one plant, a lot is it's not punished anymore. It makes a new family member. What? <laughs> And actually, Vio does woohoo, because he is with a non-plant sim. She can chastise him again. Can you talk to him instead? This is not your food. You drink from bottles. And they stopped being best friends again? Oh, she is mad at him. That's why the chastise interaction. No, he can do the same thing. Wait... Okay, I just realized this is from a mod that I recently installed, and actually I, I learned the word chastise already <laughs> from this mod. <laughs> so, um, I am almost 31 and a half years old, okay? My memory is really bad. But yeah, this is from a mod. This is not something that you can do in the actual clean game. Uh, this just unlocks the autonomous interaction that you can actually choose it and do it anytime, not only when the baby poops itself. But Cushion is actually mad at him, and that is from the game, because he probably splashed puddles or something, and she's super neat. That happens a lot. Oh, you guys finally became friends. You've been talking all day. Oren learned everything. He can just easily grow up now, and he keeps unfriending his mom. <laughs> like, he didn't even get a memory of becoming best friends again. I guess this doesn't happen the second time, right? Like, falling in love with the same person will not be another memory, but but losing someone as a best friend will repeat as a memory. That's a bit inconsistent, but okay. And we won't have any money to buy him clothes, I don't think. Okay, Cushion will make just enough. Oh my god, Vio, you are the master of breaking sinks, I swear. Cushion has a lot of mechanical, that's why she is an architecture. <laughs> One of the reasons. So let's just fix it. And she's mad at the toddler for splashing puddles when he's literally just a kid. And she's not mad at Vio for breaking a literal thing. <laughs> a literal sink. And she's just gonna go woohoo. Okay, I guess it's... um the, the, the visit hours are over. Goodbye. Oh boy. We need to take care of this. And this? um, Ula, you were supposed to... Get him to bed. The cats don't have any toys, except for the scratch post, of course. Um, but they don't have any toys and they don't play with each other either. I, I, I was just looking around the house to see if there's a toy that I can remove so they would play together. But there is none. Take a bubble bath after a long construction site work. You're not even that dirty, but you just need to relax. You're a foreman now. Responsibility. Talk to the child. Yay! So that he has the best birthday possible. I think he will have just the perfect energy at 6 p.m. when he grows up. Uh, that doesn't happen often. Be snuggled. Happy birthday! Oh, and they're best friends again. <laughs> it's time. Beautiful child. Uh, let's get you something orange to wear. But it has to be an outfit. We can't spend too much because you need new furniture as well. Is there anything orange here? This is perfectly orange. I guess this? 
It's really similar to what he had before. Maybe it's even like, you know, his toddler clothes altered. <laughs> Maybe Vio, who's a friend to both Kushin and Ula now, took his toddler clothes to Narst and Narst did the job. <laughs> yeah, this is the only one we can get. And this will have to do for now. Uh, he doesn't have any dresser, but we can do that later. He has one piece of clothing. <laughs> Yeah, and he is pretty tired, but it's it's a pretty realistic amount of energy for this hour, for a child. Just eat something, get something that doesn't have to be served, maybe this one plate of spaghetti, and go to sleep. And that will be it for today. Ula can finally sell some products once he sprays all of it. Yeah, the sky flickering annoys me too. <laughs> so this is the end of round 14. Oren can now go to school and meet some other kids, if there even are any. I guess somewhere in the next round, Narst's daughter will also become a child and go to school. There's like one day difference between them, I think. Yeah, one day exactly. And there are always townies. And maybe the next round won't be as tragic as this one. It, it was the 13th one. It was the bad luck round. I'm just now realizing that. And as always, Thank you very much for watching, subscribe and stuff like the video, and see you in the next one. Bye. But now that we're done and it's over, I bet you couldn't believe when you realized I'm harder to forget than I was to leave. And I bet you think about me